Hi, it's Marieta. Thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. Like I promised, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I wrote my book, Law is the Law. So stay tuned, it's coming up. Today I'm talking about how I wrote my book, Love is the Law, because to tell you the truth, I did not write my book. The book was actually channeled. I channeled the book. And I do want to talk about this experience with you because maybe you are the next. Maybe you are the one who's supposed to channel your book, but because you think that it's kind of crazy, I kind of, my intention with this video is for you to not feeling crazy. It's for you to accept that you are amazing, brilliant, genius, especially if you have the ability to channel the book. So this is how it happened. Um, back in 2013, I was, actually this was 2014. This was right after I moved to San Diego. I remember I decided to go to Hawaii for my birthday and I was just called to go to Hawaii. And then I just booked a, book a trip and uh, went to Hawaii to celebrate my birthday. Now, for whatever reason, I was so attracted to this particular hotel on Waikiki and I had no idea why. Well, it turns out, turned out that there was this girl living across the street from this hotel who was also Slovakian and we became friends. And when we, I remember a time we were sitting on the beach, suddenly she said, you know what, you're going to write a book and it's called Love is the Law. And I was like, oh my God. It felt like, yes, yes, yes. I would have all these um, chills all over my body and it just felt so right. So then uh, I went back home and I started to meditate. Um, and then um, one day in my meditation, uh, it would, it, I just felt like this beautiful stream of energy uh, maybe it was Kundalini awakening, I'm not sure, but basically it was this flow of bliss through my body and suddenly I hear this voice and this voice is telling me that I'm going to write a book. Now you have to understand like that, that time I am analytical lawyer running my business, but I always felt deep down in my heart that one day there's going to be time when I'm going to be talking about these spiritual principles, like I didn't really have a concept, like what am I going to teach? Like I just felt it, like I knew it intuitively. Now, again, this is back in 2014 and I would hear this voice telling me that one day, well, actually not one day, that we are going to write a book. So I thought I'm going crazy, <laughs> but because it felt so real, it felt so good and I was so happy um, listening to this voice, um, I decided to trust the voice. So the next day I would just have the same feeling. Like I would wake up in the morning and it was just there. It was there. The feeling was there telling me that I should just write. Like, and again, like I had no idea what am I supposed to write? It was like, just open the laptop and just type. So that's what I did. I would just open the laptop and I literally start typing and this is actually called the automatic writing later on I realized that and so I would just type and I, I would just type whatever was coming through me it was conscious it was consciousness it was stream of consciousness um, not really knowing what's coming through me because I was just typing and it would be coming through me so that is how I wrote the book the book was literally channeled and that was the first draft of the book and then my spirit guy told me that, which I call him spirit guy because that's the voice within, that um, now is the time to apply these principles because basically I wrote the book, Love is the Law, 21 Universal Laws. 
and I didn't have really structure, it just happened. Like I would just, I would write it and then without any structure, right? So then I had to organize it and put it in some sort of structure. So it has like different chapters and different content and different examples, different stories that are related to the content that I would channel. And um, then the voice told me that basically I need to now live by these principles. So, you know, the book would have a law of like 21, um, I mean, 21 laws, but one of the laws would be like law of circulation. Like if you want to make money, you need to give, right? So that's how I decided to start my YouTube channel. I knew my other YouTube channel, Immigration Beast, because I knew that I have to start giving. Um, and, and, and that's how I started my YouTube channel. That was the reason, you know, it wasn't really marketing move. It was the reason that I, I would need to follow the law of circulation, which is, for example, you need to give before you receive because there is the circulation, but at the same time, you cannot just give and don't, and you, you cannot have a guilt to receive because if you give and you have a guilt to receive, you are blocking the abundance coming to your life, right? So that's just an example. But at the same time, if you just take and you don't give, you are also breaching the law, the law of circulation, right? So that's just one of the examples. Now, the voice told me I need to go out and start applying these principles. And trust me, that was the hardest part because I really, really wanted to publish this book, but it wasn't the time. And I would have to really work hard, and I still do work so hard on myself um, to be able to apply these principles and and to 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 activate my higher self on daily basis um, before I start sharing. And what happened next was recently. I went to, uh, this was in March, and I went to silence retreat in Hawaii, where I, again, the voice told me during the silence retreat, when I was meditating hours, uh, the voice told me that it's time. It's time to put the work out there. It's time to share with other people what I learned and how I actually apply it. And so I knew it's time for me to really step up and finally stop hiding because part of it was also me not, not living my truth. Like I was hiding, you know, I was hiding behind the label of lawyer and I was hiding behind the, the closed door of, you know, just running my business as a lawyer, you know, and that's it. But the truth is that my guy told me, no, your sole mission is different. You have to, like you can have multiple businesses, but you cannot limit yourself because then you are hurting yourself and you're hurting other people because this message is supposed to go to other people too. And that's when I realized, you know, I'm actually being selfish. And when you play small, you are being selfish. You're being selfish to the point that you are ripping other people off. And when you think about it this way, you step out of this little ego and start understanding that we are all one and we are here to ascend to higher dimension. But that can only happen when every single individual activates that inner higher self, or I call it genius, and really step into your power so you can shine the light. And when you do that, you're going to give permission other people to do the same and together we can change this world. But it cannot happen without you first activating yourself and doing the inner work. And so then I understood I have to share this book. And here we are. So the book is happening and I'm so happy. And here's the deal, guys. If you're interested, you can take um, down the first chapter of the book, loveistolaw.com. It's available right now. Pre-orders will start soon. So I'm gonna definitely keep you posted, especially if you download the first chapter, you will be notified first. Second, I have a special Facebook group just dedicated to this book launch. And people who are part of this special Facebook group will actually receive bonuses and they will also receive when they pre-order the book before the book is launched, which is gonna be um, in September, they will also receive secret PDF so they can read the content before. And I have a bunch of bonuses coming up for you people. So if you want to be part of the group on Facebook, I'm going to link it below. There is gonna be a link 
you can access and become part of that group. So that is it for today, guys. Uh, what I want you to also do, if you want to dig deeper into this topic, there is gonna be a playlist somewhere here, here or here, or both. And I want you to watch the video, the videos in the playlist, because those videos are basically describing the principles, the core principles um, that are present in the book. And there is something super, super, super exciting that I'm having, um, I'm working on right now, which I'm gonna discuss in the next video, so you have to stay tuned, because that is coming up. And that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in today.